There's lots of things about marijuana that aren't clear. It's not very easy to study for a variety of reasons, which I won't go into. But I don't think there's much disagreement that cognitively, marijuana affects the laying down of new memories. It affects memory and learning. What it doesn't do is interfere with old memories. But what is clear is that if you consume, if you smoke marijuana, and try to learn something while, while high, you do not retain that information as well as if you weren't high. And what that means is that if you're at college, in college and your hope is to um, learn something, and when you go to class high or when you study and you're high, you're not getting your money's worth because you are not retaining as much information as you would otherwise. It's one thing to go and smoke, you know, smoke a joint on a weekend. Okay, that's one thing. But when you smoke regularly, it not only interferes with your real-time learning and memorization, but the notion that all I have to do is stop and it's over isn't true. Marijuana is fat soluble. It's stored in fat cells and that people who smoke daily have substantial amounts of marijuana that is stored in their body and that continues to be released over time, i.e. for weeks. So the point is students who believe that they can smoke all they want and all they have to do is stop and in a couple of days they'll be at their cognitive best, that's not true.